Hi everyone, it's Jackie and I'm back with another video. It's been a while since I did one of these and I need to start doing them more regularly. Um, I had a lot that went on this summer and my schedule is getting pretty busy and stuff, but I'll make sure to make more videos now. As you can see, my wall's kind of plain and that's because the office got moved into a new room. So now I have my separate bedroom and this room. And um, I'll just try to show you around. This is like a day bed, kind of. And there's, you know, I'm not really good at rotating this thing, so. Bear with me, a computer, guitar, there's bookshelf, I mean, there's not much going on really to show you because it's so like blank in here, but I'll start to decorate the walls soon enough. Um, this summer, I had a lot going on. I went to the Cape Cod Writers Conference, and I am the youngest member there. I met with the agent who represents the Hunger Games, Rosemary Stabola, and she went over my first manuscript that I wrote when I was 12 and she gave me uh, criticism and just told me the things that I needed to change and I'm going to fix that up and send it back to her. Today I was on the road show which is a, a little um, like TV segment for those in Rhode Island who um, have talents and cook and all kinds of different things. It happens right off after the news and um, I was on that today talking about my writing and I'll, I don't know how to post that from their website on here so I'll probably just put like links in the description below. And that was great. I mean, there's so much I could talk about. This summer I started volunteering at a cat sh local cat shelter and that's, that's a good thing to do. I had articles written about me already, my book's out. So I'll also be putting um, links to, for you to get them here. Um, the thing I really want to focus about on this video is probably the conference itself. There was, it was such a different experience and I'm actually the youngest member of the conference because a lot of them, they're all adults, people who have not been published and have been published, but because I I am young and I am published, I'm allowed to go. They do have a writing group for like younger kids, but it's usually like, like, well they, I don't know how to explain it, like they can't go to like the adult classes basically, and they can't go to the banquets and all of that. So it's different to be in that setting than this setting. And of course my mother had to go with me because none of the people there are like corried and stuff. So they're gonna be, they're just gonna start to like change rules now. So anyway, we went there. And the way that it is, it's like the first day they have like a cocktail party and you meet all the people and you talk to them. And of course I couldn't have cocktails, so <laughs> yeah. But there's like so many people there. There's agents from like New York, like the per one I met with. There's editors. There, there could be like people from the board of directors there that you just start talking to, and you don't really know who anybody is. I mean, everybody dresses differently. There's people in suits. There's people who are like Lexi Daisy. Like you can like go however you want. So you don't really know who you're talking to at what time, and. We didn't know much about it, so like we were starting to learn as we were there, and it was a process. We met one lady who has this extremely amazing story that she's working on, which I can't mention anything because, you know, copyright reasons, but um, she kind of like told us that the whole thing, reason for being there is to market yourself, and it's not to like sit around and not talk to anybody, you like have you should get out there and you do it. And basically we talked a lot about writing and stuff and I, 
met with like the people who were there and the board directors and other people and I just kind of like talk to a lot of people that's basically what you do and you talk about writing in the classes and stuff and you can meet agents you can meet editors like I did and after that there was like a banquet we had a banquet where um that's for like the adults and stuff and they had a lot of good food and they also put on this little performance that was pretty cute and and that's like the whole shebang the class that I went to I went to um the young adult writing with Scott Blagden who was a good friend of mine I met him last year I'll probably explain that story in another uh video because I don't think I really did I don't really remember but my my book's out now, so you can go and check that out, and I hope you like it. I mean, I don't got much else to say about that. I mean, I've just been putting myself out there. I mean, I'm everywhere now. I'm like Amazon, Barnes and Noble. You can get you can find me anywhere. You just search it. I'm just gonna put links in the description. That'd be a lot easier. So you can check my book out if you want. Um, that'd be awesome. I'm going to have my first uh, book signing this Saturday at Barnes & Noble in Dartmouth. Even though whoever is watching this right now is probably not having a clue where that is right now. Because you're probably like, sees over or like, stays over. But anyway, that's where it is. So, um... Yeah, that's it. Um, check out the link to the roadshow that I was on. Today I'm going to talk about my whole writing experience. I started reading when I was three. At um, I used to visit the library every week. And I would get out like 12, 16 books a day or something like that. I was an avid reader and I always cared about reading. And I went to the... Um, the little clubs that they had there and all that jazz and then when I turned six I started writing and some in some aspects my teachers also influenced um, my ability because they constructed it over the years of learning and I I always wanted to be an author even when I was six I said that I was going to be and when I turned 12, I had this um, experience, I had this dream, and it was so, like, it was so surreal. Um, the whole thing, it made me want to write, I feel like I cared. I thought about the dream so many times. If you've ever had a dream where it, like, sticks with you, and you, like, think about it so much, it came into this concept this series that I started writing and at first I was not very good I was terrible I was awful as anyone would be starting out and I had to rewrite that book about five times and I'm pretty much rewriting it again because I have improved so much since then and the book right here that just got published you can tell that I I am I am good not to say like Boastfully, I know that I am capable of some skill. In reading my first book, it's not the same. So I'm kind of going back and I'm trying to fix it. But anyway, that's when I started really writing the series was when I was 12. And then I wrote this one starting when I was 13. So I already finished the first one. And I sent out Corey's, Corey's are emails, in case you don't know. They're like, it's kind of like a res, kind of, not really a resume. It's more like, kind of like an interview. Like you tell, you try to hook them and agents and publishers into like, liking your story. So you'll give them like a hook and then you'll tell them about the story and you tell them about yourself. And if they're interested in it, they'll ask for a few pages and then after that, if they really like it, they will send you a contract, and then you'll send them the manuscript. Well, anyway, there was this, well, I started out, and I was writing to, like, different people, and I was very inspired by Stephen King, so I wrote a letter to him asking him for advice on how to get published, because 
I didn't really have a whole idea of how to go about it. And even though I was sending queries and stuff, something about it wasn't working and I was wondering why. So I sent the letter to him and didn't really expect one back, seeing as he is such um, a famous, established author. But he did send one back, and he gave me advice, and um, he uh, pointed me to this book called Writer's Market, and it is all a list of agents and publishers. And every year it's different, because some agents don't, like, do it anymore our publishers don't do it anymore so it's always updating so you should always get the next year that there is so I went through that and I was plugging in certain companies and by accident I plugged in the wrong one I don't know why I did but all of a sudden this publishing company called page publishing came up and I think honestly that it was fake that I was meant to uh, type in the wrong address. And when I did, they asked for a submission kit. So I sent in my um, address and then someone called and confirmed it. And then they sent me this whole packet with telling me what they would do for me and all of that in this box. And I put my manuscript in it my query letter in it and business cards in it and all of that. And I send it back. Well, while I was in school one day, they called my mom and they were like, they were very impressed by it. And they asked, um, is she there? And she said, no, she's at school. And they're like, well, is she, she's in college? And she's like, no, she's a freshman in high school. And that kind of like blew them away. And then after that, a uh, week later, they said they were picking my book up. Now, it's not because of age. That was not a reason. Because I've been turned down before for age. Uh, about a year ago, before that, they said, this one lady who was interested in me, who I'm not going to name, of course, um, was interested in my book. And when she found out my age, she turned me down. So it had nothing to do with age. In a sense, it could do with age because they could look at it in another aspect, but it was the story itself because the story was so great, and they even said that. So it wasn't because of my age or anything. That didn't influence anything. It shouldn't influence anything. So then they sent me a contract, and I signed that. And we went through this long process of editing and then page formatting and the cover design which they took ideas from my book and put that onto the cover and then it just came out they had a press release and I was just out everywhere um yeah and now I'm just trying to market myself and get my uh book out there and I'm going to different signings I already have three um potentially uh two or three more coming up so that's how my whole experience came about and that's how I got published so yeah if you ever need like advice with like how to get published and stuff you can always ask me I know I, I don't have I might not have much to say because and most of it's going to be redundant because that's kind of like what I went through.